leaking like a faucet. It should have been playing with my bread. my bread. You know I have the hobby. It's feeling bad because he did. he did. I put him in the car. I'm smoking on that nigga ass. Yeah. This shit is the fuck down somewhere. That's fair. That's fair. And then even to the powers that be, y'all get out of this shit anyway. You know what I mean? Like, y'all get yourself out of this shit anyway, nigga. Let me out of some shit. Let us up out of some shit one good time so we can do something good. Y'all get out of this shit to go do crazy shit all the time. We ain't trying to get out of no shit to go do no crazy shit, but let a nigga rock real quick. Let a nigga build and clean up. Plus, no disrespect. No disrespect. I'm doing a better job than you. I'm catching more motherfuckers than you, so... You might as well, like, nigga, I'm a better general than you in real life. In real life, nigga, I got the paper. I still, I got every paperwork I ever had since I was a kid. I got the paperwork on everybody. The FBI don't got more paperwork than you. The CIA don't got more paperwork. I got everything you can ever, everything everybody ever did in their life. I got it. I'm the number one attorney in the world. They crazy as hell. Harvey, open that, open that up right there. That, open that up right there, that brown. Yeah, open that up. You see what's in there? What? Every every lecture, and all the shit I ever exposed is in there. Open that up. All the shit I ever exposed is in there. Everything I ever exposed, nigga, every lecture I ever did is in the box. Every... Is 50 Cent watching this shit? What? 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 Crazy. This shit crazy. What's up, y'all? I'm back with another one. Thank you to the person who left the comment uh, about Young Pharaoh, because I never would have even known. I don't see him on YouTube, so I don't know where he be. But maybe I'm late. Um, but this nigga had to move out of his place, which we knew anyway. You know what I'm saying? But damn, Young Pharaoh, what happened to your ass moving to Costa Rica where all that land was that you talking about? I thought that was supposed to be this nigga next move to go move to Costa Rica and shit. This nigga wasting money to go out there just to try to prove something to us. Knowing goddamn well he really ain't got no fucking land in Costa Rica. Because if he did, he wouldn't be moving into no fucking apartment. Nobody moves into a fucking apartment and got land. Like, <laughs> that alone, just it's impossible, Okay. So the nigga been lying the whole time, which we knew he was. You know, we already covered that with all the videos I did on that. But damn, you know, this nigga ego and pride is whew, getting the best of his ass right about now. Because he can't get on this motherfucker and brag. He can't get on here no more and put his feet in the, in the dirty ass pool and say, look, how many of y'all got this? This nigga can't go stand in front of his house and put his arms on and say, how many of you live in a mansion? Which it wasn't a motherfucking mansion, but yeah. How many? He can't say none of that no more. You know he going through it. I couldn't believe. I was like, damn, this nigga straight moving into an apartment. And and I think he live in Texas. And so that means this nigga real, bro, because a little apartment in, in Texas is for shit. I think the one bedroom is like, what, $400, $500? (laughs) So, damn, I wouldn't be surprised if this nigga didn't go to the county building and try to get him some food stamps and cash aid. Yeah, to help his ass out. Then did you hear this nigga still saying that he going to open up a bank? You opening up a motherfucking bank in an apartment? Pharaoh. Yeah, he, he going to stone crazy he has he's still talking this shit about this fucking bank his ass has went crazy he's officially nuts okay yeah we could just say okay you know we listen to him talk this shit and say what he got when he's living in the little nice house but nigga, you seeing this shit in a motherfucking apartment building this shit got you looking some type of way young pharaoh Mm mm-hmm it sure does like, damn, nigga, everybody talking about you talented, you smart, you know what I'm saying, you, uh, you know, 
all this shit that they saying about you, why are you not using that to your advantage to make some motherfucking money? Because your ass young Pharaoh, from how everybody pumping his ass up, he should be able to be been able to keep up with them notes at the house. Okay, he shouldn't have never got uh, kicked out of the house. Since he all this and that, nigga could have been using that to make some money. This, remember, y'all pump him up and say he ain't normal, he this, he that. Y'all put him on a pedestal and shit. And, this, and then this nigga had to move out of his house to an apartment? Are y'all serious? What the fuck is this nigga doing? He ain't working, doing... I want to know how how do he make money, shit. That's what I'm curious about that shit. Damn, nigga, how you get money coming in? That's what I want to know, because we sure know your ass ain't getting up going to work every day. I'm like, damn, then this nigga... Oh, that's crazy. But it's not a surprise. It's not... There's no way in hell he should have... Uh, been that broke where he had to move out out of his motherfucking house being he is young pharaoh and y'all say he's the smartest motherfucker out here okay if he's the smartest motherfucker out here again he could use this smartest motherfucker mind to make some money and to be having a little bread on his ass no apartment don't fit young pharaoh like young pharaoh and an apartment that just don't you know it it just don't so this shit is weird. This shit is super weird. Then people want to keep talking about that ain't him. He clone. He this, he that. Man, that nigga ain't fucking clone. Okay? That nigga ain't clone. Uh, shit. Nigga ain't, sh- ain't none, of, none of that. Okay? None of it. Nigga, normal Joe Blow, he played your motherfucking ass, okay? To get what he wanted when he seen that your motherfucking ass just was catching on to what he was doing and stopped sending him money. Then he just turned into himself again, okay? That's what that is. Yeah, they ain't, he ain't no motherfucking call. Mm-mm. But damn, thank you so much for the person in the comment. I read it so fast. I was like, hurry, let me hurry up and go see this shit. What? And I saw this video. I'm like, wow, young Pharaoh, you down bad, bad. Yeah, you down real bad. Yeah, how you gonna, how you gonna go, go? How you going to uh, open up a bank, nigga, when you can't even motherfucker uh, open up the motherfucking mortgage payments that you were supposed to be making at that goddamn house? Like, what the fuck? And nobody telling him that stupid ass shit. Then this nigga got somebody at the apartment already. I want to know who the fuck there is. They just listening to this stupid ass shit and not saying nothing to this nigga. <laughs> how is, I mean, like, how the fuck are people not saying anything to this man to tell him, like, dude, you really need help? I mean, like, literally just sit down and have a real serious conversation with this nigga um, and intervene and do an intervention to get his ass to try to at least see a little bit that that's something wrong up there in that head of his. Okay, for people to just watch this shit and want to get mad at other motherfuckers and me because I'm talking about this nigga. Why ain't nobody helping this motherfucker? Huh? Why? I want to know if his school's still up too. Wonder if them motherfuckers just paying monthly on that stupid ass shit to watch the same thing over and over. Probably don't even. I should have looked for that before I did this damn video. Because he probably ain't getting that money either. And I want to know what happened to the court dates and him going to court as far as the situation would, would go down. I want to know the outcome of that. You know what I'm saying? Did they drop the charges? I mean, like, what the fuck is up with that, too? This nigga. Mm, mm, mm. I know his pride hurt that he can't brag no more. Mm-hmm. Then he's still trying to talk about he got that dusty, uh, them dusty books and shit, telling the person, I was like, look, all the lectures there, all them books there, yeah. Nigga, why you didn't go sell the books, have a yard sale with all them books since they were, since they worth $100,000, nigga? Motherfucker, you don't need them books, ain't that motherfucking valuable, uh, you know what I'm saying, if they is worth that much. Uh, for you to just say no, I'm not selling this to keep my house, nigga. You could have sold, you could have uh, sold those books, nigga, if they really had value to them as you say they do. 
to keep your to keep money in your motherfucking pockets and and, and to keep be able to pay your motherfucking mortgage so you wouldn't get kicked out of your apartment. Nigga, you didn't make no decision to get to move, nigga. Yeah, they kicked your ass out. Yeah, that's what I think. I, I don't see you at all just just making that decision yourself. Mm-mm. They kicked your ass out. Mm-hmm. They did. All that jewelry. Remember he said he got that jewelry is expensive. Yeah, he's bragging about the jewelry and shit. Got rings all on his hand. Nigga, why you go sell that shit? Yeah, because it wasn't worth that. Because it wasn't worth what you were trying to portray it to be worth. That's why. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's showing. If you got to go move to an apartment from a big-ass house, nigga, you're down bad. 